Well, I hope that lifted your spirits as we come now to pray. And we start, as usual, with the prayer of the Church for this week, which is quite appropriate to our theme of forgiveness. Merciful God, your Son came to save us and bore our sins on the cross. May we trust in your mercy and know your love, rejoicing in the righteousness that is ours, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we pray for our world at this time, thinking still of children going back to school or off to college and those who teach them. Lord, bless them and give them wisdom and protect them. And we pray for all who are mingling with others in one way or another, that they may remain safe from the virus and other illnesses. And we pray for the health service and carers and all involved in supporting those who have any kind of need, that they may be blessed with wisdom and strength and ongoing cheerfulness. We pray for those who lead us in this country for honesty and truth. We pray for refugees around the world in their needs so much greater very often than ours. We pray for our families and our friends, wherever they may be, that you will be with each one of them in their circumstance now. And we pray for ourselves, that you will anoint us once again with the knowledge of your forgiveness, and that we too may rise in joy and soar like bluebirds over the cliffs of Dover, because you have forgiven us and we are free. And lastly, and pulling all of this together, we may say the prayer which Jesus gave us, which of course has in it the line, Give us our trespasses as we forgive the trespassers of others. So let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now let's have a final hymn. And it seemed right to have, dear Lord and Father of mankind, forgive our foolish ways. So here it is. 